Today I'm going to have some things uh, to, for you to uh, combine some concepts. I haven't done anything for a while. And uh, we're going to kind of put some stuff together. I talked about the wall. I talked about the setup. The button is going down to this front heel line, which I always call the wall. Okay, a lot of people have issues with how to use the arm. They'll talk about long back swings, short back swings, all these different things. Well, that's all that's all teaching that really doesn't hit. It, uh, you can look at it differently. If I fold up, I literally hitchhike. I just fold my elbow and hitchhike to my shoulder. Okay? All I'm doing is just go straight up and look at it. It's right on my shoulder. Now, I personally, for distance, you can go up and down this line anywhere you want. I don't care. It's kind of a personal preference. A lot of people are lower. You know, they turn and they've got their back swing. I'm a little bit higher because I raise this arm right under here. I raise it a bit, and that gives me more gravity and le gravity coming down, more speed and leverage. So usually if you find a long hitter, they're, they're up a little bit. But you can hit just as far this way, and I'm going to show you how. Um, those are preferences. Uh, I don't worry that much about that. If somebody really wants a lot of distance, I'll raise them to, to their ear. If, if I look at a student, um, they're down here, I leave them there. But it's important that this arm does the same thing. I don't care where it is on what I call the heel line. The heel line comes up from your heel if you were doing a down the line view. And I want you right on that line. Okay? Up or down, doesn't matter. I want you on that line. Okay? But your arm must always move the same. The butt end of the club moves out. You just unfold this arm. I've done a lot of videos on it. It just folds up and down, up and down. You know, a lot of people want to pull it into that wall. You no, know, do that, you lose all power. Okay, it's up and down like this. It's just fold, unfold, fold, unfold. This elbow stays outside the hip. Okay. Uh, another important thing that helps a lot of people is um, how to use that hand. Okay, I think of it as a, a whip, and I just slung something together here. All right, and what you do is, if I set up and I'm going to hit this wall with a whip, a towel, whatever it is, I can fold up, I'm hitchhiking to my shoulder, and I don't know if you can hear that. You hear how loud that is? It's a really loud crack, and I'm not really doing very much. It's a, it's a whip is what I've got. I'm using leverage. And then that chain of kinetic energy goes down through the different levers all the way to my fingers. And it makes that sound. Okay? That's what I'm doing. That's where 85% of my power is coming from, from my arms. And honestly, it's mostly my right arm. I do use the left, of course. All right, so you can snap just as hard and get that loud crack. So if I faced you this way, okay, the arm movement hitchhiked to my shoulder, I get a little quarter turn of my shoulder, not the big 90 degree one everyone talks about, no. And I snap it. Okay, I deliver it with this kind of speed. Anyone can do it and immediately pick up, you know, I'd say you know, 20 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour is minimum. Um, and it's about the usage of your arm. I'm going to have you look at a video and it's called, um, it's in my playlist. And it says golf's, uh, I believe it's golf's five important, five
five most important five lessons. It's in my playlist. And what you'll see there is one of the ones, most important ones that's in there is about how to deliver a, a side crack in a whip. And the way you do that is just what I'm showing you. You hitchhike, you know, up to your shoulder or higher, you know, depending on what you're trying to do. And you deliver your hand on basically a 45 because the ball is down. In a whip crack, you go cut. You do a cutting motion like this sideways. You just go click. And all you're doing is a simple hand motion like that. Okay. And because it's golf and the ball's down there and you're actually delivering the energy to your front heel line, you know, you'll have the divot up in front of the ball or you'll have the, you know, you'll be teeing off up in that area. That's an important front line and you, the wall, and basically you just do that motion. Okay. And you deliver the snap. So people always ask you, how do they look like you're swinging? And it goes so far. And my stock, you know, 7 irons, 185. I can go 30 yards up and down from that. Okay, in terms of distance, I'm extremely long. Um, you know, I had a drive just uh, three weeks ago, 422 yards, uh, measured by laser. Um, do I hit that car off? I know. I play for position. So I usually use irons off the tee, and I'm trying to score and play golf. Okay, so I don't just wail on it. But you'll find if you learn this simple motion with the little movement and the proper spine action which we're going to talk about next I'm going to show you a way of freeing up your body so that because you have really fast speeds here your body has to support that so there's two parts to what I teach um, your arms and getting your speeds up but having the body support that speed there's a lot of weight flying around and we don't want to get anybody hurt and um, this is why I wear the safety shirt all the time. Safety first in golf. you got to be careful because there are, if you don't do the right things, you can really hurt things. I see some ridiculous stuff on sites sometimes. You know, they'll be doing all these knee actions and femurs outside of their hip and knee. And you're just asking to tear yourself apart. In fact, you'll get labral tears doing that. And... Um, a lot of times when I teach, I look to see where someone is having some soreness or problems, and it tells me right away um, where they're restricted. And with my setups and things that I teach, you're not restricted at all. You have freedom. And it's not hard, because as you continue to, you can put as much energy as you want. And away from the wall, it would look like this. Okay, we'll go on to the second part of this, and I think you guys are going to learn a lot, and I'll give you the feels.